First and foremost, its, it's nickname is The Survivor because it has come through um, an incredible number of ordeals. It's absolutely loved by everyone on the force and I think everyone who knows the Chinook aircraft uh, pretty much knows of Bravo November. There is nothing like you know, she is she is truly iconic. And I think a lot of that is born out of the fact that she's been on enduring operations to every major conflict for the last 40 years, uh, whether it be the Falkland Islands and Bravo November. So the famous aircraft that escaped the Atlantic conveyor is still flying at the moment. And, and she's relatively young in terms of flying hours. We all know Bravo November. The story is, well, it's, it's legendary, isn't it? It's crazy that that airframe is still operational after uh, all the history behind it. But it just goes to show the longevity of the Chinook, really. It's been used in so many places since the Falklands in every operation across the world. It's just the go-to aircraft. It, it can do heavy lifting, troop carrying, aeromeds. So you just had to wait for the information because you're really concerned with your, your buddies and what have you. Not quite so the aircraft initially. It's your, it's your pals. It's your, your, your mates you want to find out about. After watching until the next day, we found that the guys are OK because we knew that they, they were in the water and what have you. But already, with the, then the big, the big thing was because uh, the operation went on and there was a big gap in the, the helicopter capability to, to go from four down to one was a huge change. Now, it was after lunch. Even at that stage, we didn't know what had happened overnight. And out of the blue, Bravo November came in the distance. We could see it. A marvellous sight, I have to admit. Uh, so up to that point, we honestly thought we were out of a job. You know, we'd come all this way and now we had nothing to do. 77 of us here and 20 odd on the conveyor. So we thought we'd lost all the aircraft. Honestly, that was the main thing in our heads, you know. We'll do what we can for two days and keep our fingers crossed. But it started up every time. We just couldn't believe it. Uh, but we found ourselves uh, on that hillside uh, in this little valley for four days. And it also came with just one small tool bag, which the uh, loadmasters carry with them, you know, when they're working away from base normally. Just, uh, you know, something like a torch, a screwdriver, tire pressure gauge, adjustable spanner maybe. There was very little in it. And in all honesty, that's all we had to start with. This all happened very, very quickly. What we, in an ideal world, we would have pulled up. So if you lose visibility, pull up to safe, safe altitude or what have you. In the seconds, you know, we're talking about this, Dick started flaring the aircraft and bang, we hit the water because we descended the, the same time as he lost all visual references through, through the goggles. Luckily, as you, as you know, the Shooks um, designed for amphibious operations and then Pretty soon after that, the aircraft flew itself off because it was the attitude the aircraft was in 
as the speed dropped, the water dropped, the engine spilled up, the rotors spilled up again, and once it was it cleared the water, then we were back flying again. So very, 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 very lucky we were. I was walking up the hill with squadron leader Langwood. He took me to one side and he said to me, you do realize, you know, that what's been happening to us now will be written up in the squadron history books. So I think, why is it so suited to the military mission? It's a big box with two rotors and four wheels on. You know, it's a big box. And logisticians like big boxes. It's a big box with a big hole in the back. So you can move big things quickly, swiftly, safely. And you've got three hooks on the bottom. It's, um, for, what, for the mission that it has, it's absolutely perfect. Nothing sounds like a Chinook. Nothing looks like a Chinook. Nothing can do what she can do.